Hello, this is Jake Light. <laughs> what am I doing? Hello, this is Jake Light, gaming lawyer at your service. We are back again with Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. I always forgot about the word Chronicles. But yeah, we are back with a new. What do you call? Uh, episode. So, as we, we played. Our trial ended abruptly, and mystery wasn't really solved. We just assume, uh, used tempered evidence and move along with life, I guess. But no, um, something has happened in the court itself again. Something blasphemous. So we'll see what that blasphemous thing is. Episode 4, The Adventure of the Clouded Kokoro I begin to think, Wilson, said Sholmes, turning his head languidly in my direction, that there is more to this case than that which we have observed. Indeed, that there may be another part to this story that we are yet to discover. His eyes wandered following the steam rising from his cup of herbal tea, leading him to the distant memory of that snowy evening. To the young lady collapsed on the pavement along Briar Road, and to the knife in her back. Lit in the soft glow of gas lamps, a most extraordinary scene had been set. And under the cover of a light fog, the curtain had risen silently on the insoluble mystery of our invisible killer. What? Is it Jack the Reaper? We're back here! Where's, where's here? British Supreme Court. Ah, yes. Lord Chief Justice's office. Did you sleep last night, Miss Narhodo? No, not at all. It was an enormous hotel, wasn't it? The rooms were so luxurious, I felt like we were staying in a palace. And with all the gas lights twinkling, it was brighter than the day even in the middle of the night. What about the enormous bed? After my time on the SS Borea, I was going to waste a single inch of that space. I spent the entire night rolling from one side of the mattress to the other. Oh yes, it really was the sort of night you can only dream of normally. Except, when I learned that we owed three pounds for the room, that dream quickly turned into a nightmare. Oops, sorry about that. The building was so impressive and the entrance so inviting I just wandered in without thinking. In a lodging house in Japan, that sum of money would put a roof over your head for a whole year. Three pounds, okay. I did try, but I'm afraid I couldn't help my tears when we were presented with the bill. Ugh, I really am sorry. Well, never mind. We must find some more affordable lodgings straight away, though. If we are not careful, our entire stipend will be used. Our entire stipend will be used up in 10 days or less. What stipend? I'm guessing it's savings or something. Ugh, London is a scary place. Ah, good morning to you at this early hour. Oh yes, um, we are, um, well... Good morning to you, Lord Chief Justice. We have come to report on the outcome of the trial at the Old Bailey yesterday. Susato san is amazing, she doesn't bat an eyelid, even in the presence of the imposing Lord Strongheart. Yes, I believe you had a very comprehensive initiation to British courtroom practices. Oh yes, uh, it was very eye-opening. Uh, thank you. And in accordance with your instructions, Lord Strongheart, Mr. Naruto performed his duty to the end. Yes, I've already been appraised of events. 
you conducted a remarkable defense. You may consider the test passed. Oh, no longer are you a student from the Empire of Japan. You may henceforth claim to be a fully fledged lawyer. My country is delighted to welcome young talent from such a remote eastern land. Um, thank you very much. So I'm a lawyer now. Just like that. Now, in view of your new appointment, I have a fresh case in your mind. <laughs> in mind for you. I'd like you to take it on at once. I trust that won't be that won't be a problem. Another case? Already? Nothing trains a lawyer better than a practical experience. I'm sure. I don't sense dissatisfaction, do I? It's just that uh, yesterday's trial ended unusually. I haven't quite come to terms with it. What's to come to terms with? The man was clear. What more were you hoping for? The culpability of the defendant has not, at the present time, been established by this court. Consequently, the jury will not be required to pre-offer judgment. Well, Lord Van Zix, it's been a pleasure, so it has. And as for you, my dear fella, I could have asked for a better defense. <laughs> I just can't help wondering if Mr. McGilder really was innocent. <laughs> yes, with that laugh, he is definitely innocent. Mr. Naruhodo, it's just that I never imagined managed to extern the truth, and then the trial ended. Well, you didn't let it trouble you for a second longer. Sorry? What do you mean, Lord Strongheart? Magnus McGilded passed away- <laughs> What? <laughs> really? Immediately following the trial. No! What? Mis Mr. Mr. McGilded is- Dead? Really? Wow. That, I did not see that coming. I have 19 minutes and 41 seconds until my next engagement. Time enough to talk. Converse! McGill's death. Interesting. I don't understand. What happened? Really? What, what the hell happened? How can he be dead? After the trial concluded yesterday, there was a great commotion in the old pay bailey. As you presumably recall, an omnibus had been wheeled into the courtroom. He burned, he was burned alive. Yes, of course, there was the scene of the crime which Mr. McGilded had been accused of. Ah, that means I won't be able to do any Irish accent anymore. <laughs> Precisely. Well, while the bailiff's attention was diverted by some other matter, the omnibus went up in flames. No! How could such a thing have happened? You British people are useless! That is being investigated as we speak. But already, the police have identified a corpse found inside a charged shell of the carriage as that of me gilded. That's awful. The man must have slipped inside whilst bailiff's attention was elsewhere. That bailiff really needs to pay more attention, yes. Why not single? That on, not only that bailiff, everyone. Everyone was there. The courtroom shouldn't be like empty or anything. It was tons of people. And how could it have ha happened? That is also been investigated as we speak. Thinking back now, 
immediately after the trial, Mr. McGill did mention going back into the courtroom to look at the omnibus. Well, I must be making... <laughs> well, I must be making tracks now. It is time for the inspection. Sorry, what inspection? We're going to examine that mummy bus again, so I'm told. I asked if I could be a present for it myself. And die in the omnibus. An inspection of the omnibus. Not to my knowledge, I don't believe Scotland Yard had any intention of re-examining the carriage. But, and who was Mc Mr. McGilder talking about? Never mind that now. The Yard is making a thorough investigation. This matter is no longer any concern of yours. Leave it to the police. Poor Mr. McGilded. British Court is a little joke. So, how did you find your first taste of our country's Supreme Court? It's a failed, failed system. Oh, oh well, I don't know. I mean, it was a wow. <laughs> right? Wow. Mr. Naruto means that the whole experience was steeped in the solemnity of Great Britain's long history, full of flaws. It's really a world apart from our own judicial system in Japan, which is only a few short decades old. Wow, Susanoo-san has such a way with words. And you seem to have a way of failing to find the right ones. Wait, how do you do know? The judicial system here is the most advanced in the world. Learn all you can. So advanced that things like that happen. <laughs> uh, yeah. The most advanced in the world, is it? It was un it was fortunate that you very your very first trial was a simple affair. Simple? That was simple? Are you joking? What's difficult then? As I believe I mentioned yesterday morning, it was a trial you couldn't lose. I don't mean to be contrary, Lord Strongheart, but the case was anything but simple. The circumstances of the case were so incriminating. Uh, the circumstances of the case were so incriminating, I was stunned when I first heard them. In fact, I'm still finding it hard to believe that we managed to get a favorable verdict. I mean, favorable isn't quite uh, defined. It. It's more like best verdict. <laughs> Is it something funny? No, no. My apologies. However, the fact is that you did receive the not guilty verdict you set out to achieve. And that, own, and that can only be attributed to exceptional talent. Wouldn't you agree? Well, I, I don't know about that. Well, never mind. You exceeded my expectation. I freely admit that much at least is an undeniable truth. Which is precisely why I have prepared a new case for you that I mentioned before. What's going on? What is he going to say before? What? Tell me this new case! Could you perhaps give us some more details about the new case you mentioned? Don't tell me, it's a murder and the trial starts in 10 minutes. <laughs> Don't worry, it's nothing so alarming or quite so urgent as your last assignment. In fact, this case is completely different. Oh, I see. Did, did he just read my mind? It seems, well, it seems like everyone can read my mind, even Susato-san. That is to say, no one has died as yet. And the trial will not be today. There is plenty of time to search. Research the case thoroughly. 23 hours, 43 minutes and 19 seconds to be precise. Haha, 
to the trials tomorrow then. No, <laughs> a lot of time, really. There's a lot of time. Is everything all right? Oh, yes. I'm just a little confused. That's all, you know. A lot more time is just one more day. Normally, cases uh, uh, require more than that. Quite more than that. Maybe at least 10 times or more. Or how <laughs> 100 times or more. Yesterday's trial was... Well, it's left me wondering if I'm really cut off about being a lawyer. Because, you know, I'm not even sure what lawyer means in this world. Oh, Mr. Naruhodo. I don't know if I could face standing in that court, courtroom again after Mr. McGilda's trial. And, well, he died as well. Uh, that too. Uh, but, you know, he deserved it. <laughs> ah, yes. I nearly forgot. There is one similarity with yesterday's case. Once again, again, there is currently no one to advocate for the defense. Oh, if the situation remains unchanged, the trial will start tomorrow with the defendant unrepresented. And if that happens, I need not remind you of the inevitable outcome. The most terrible end awaits the defendant. Yes, that's right. Ugh. Here we go again. All right. Your time is up. You will have to excuse me. I will advise you to begin making preparations for tomorrow's trial. After all, the clock is ever ticking. There is now but then 23 hours, 26 minutes and 39 seconds until the court sits. Last time he mentioned the 23 hours, he said there was plenty of time. <laughs> And one more thing, Mr. Naruhodo. There is something I should like to ask you. Oh, um, what's that? Yesterday, you remarked upon something. That you intend to see through the wheel of your late compatriot, Mr. Asugi. I would be interested to hear what exactly you mean by that. Inside 34 seconds. Oh, well, um, Kazuma always used to say, you see, that he wants to learn how the greatest justice system in the world works, so he could change our lives in Japan. Now that he's gone, I like to work with that step myself, and there's another thing. Oh, oh! Another thing? Continue. On the way here on the steamship, she, he said something to me. There's something very important that I have to do. Something very important, and what exactly would that be? He never had a chance to tell me. I suppose he would have done if he'd. Uh, oh, you're out. You're out of time. Well, thank you for an enlightening discussion. Mr. Naruto, what's all this about? Mr. Asuki never once mentioned anything of the sort to me. I urge you both to focus on your attentions on the matter at hand. <gasps> I've taken the liberty of summoning the police inspector in charge of the case. He'll be able to apprise you of the details. How long has he been there? So, I wish you best of the luck and bid you farewell. There's... there's something very important that I have to do, Kazuma-san. What did you mean? What did you mean? I wish I knew, but honestly, he never told me. Anyway, we had better talk to the detective, don't you think? Yay, another detective to talk to. What voice game am I gonna give him? Yes, you're right. I hope I'm just imagining it, but I won't say he looks pleased to see us at all. Hey, he has chips. Can I have some of them? Examine. <gasps> it is it. eating bread. <laughs> okay. Infinite bread and chips. 
Or is it filet? I think it, it's a fish filet. Fish and chips. They, he's eating fish and chips. Typical British people, I guess. Um, could we trouble you? What do you think? Ugh. Um, um, lovely weather, isn't it? What's the weather got to do with anything? Uh, listen to me, you young Japanese upstart. Some fibbery about the weather doesn't get every English jet eating out of hand, you know. Uh, but susano san told me it was foolproof. I'm a busy man. I'm very busy man. There's a crime scene to investigate. I'm here having to give the likes of you a talking to. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Can you imagine what the other officers there will be saying here? I haven't seen Gregson anyway, have you? Now he's too busy with the big wits these days. And all because of some bumpkin who's here on a jaunt from a country I've never heard, even heard of. I'm sorry, I hear that ripping sound. It's my reputation that we are going to tatter us. That's not right. Uh, there's no need to rip us apart as well. I don't believe we've been introduced. This is Mr. Nyonosuke Naruhodo, a defense lawyer. Eh? It's a pleasure to make your talk acquaintance. I'm Mr. Naruhodo's judicial assistant. So it's lovely weather we're having today, isn't it? <laughs> it is unseasonably fine, I grant you. London winters don't see a lot of sunshine. Unbelievable! How did she pull that off? <laughs> so, ahem, Lord Strongheart has asked me to fill in on the case. What voice am I making? The name's Tobias Gretzen. Inspector Gretzen to you. I'm from Scotland Yard. Gregson? Um, Inspector Gregson? What's the matter with Susaro san Does this detective's name mean anything to her? Something to her? Inspector Gregson! Inspector, are you perhaps... THE Inspector Gregson? Um, 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 You're acting like you know this man, Mr. Sato, but he's a London detective. Oh, I do know him very well, in fact. Very well? Yes, he features prominently in the adventures of Herlock Sholmes. Oh, in, oh, in that publication. What's he called again? Rand's Magazine? That's right, Inspector Gregson and Mr. Sholmes enjoy a wonderful, friendly rivalry. Rivalry. Really? You rival the great Mr. Sholmes? That's incredible. Am I being sarcastic? <laughs> oh, um, well, I don't know about that. Mr. Sholmes isn't a professional like myself, of course, but does, he does come up with the goods from time to time. Mr. Sholmes is equally complimentary about you, Inspector, isn't he? You've earned his highest praise. Gregson is a pick of a bad of lot of all the Scotland Yarders. Those were his own words. That's his highest praise. Well, Mr. Sholmes isn't particularly known for giving compliments, you see. That he is not, and thanks to that magazine, my name's... No, no, no... <laughs> No. Okay, how do I do this one? No. 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 My name's no no for the London's town now. That's right, isn't it? Hm. I have to admit that to start with, I was a little, well, flattered by all the attention. Everyone wanted to shake my hand, and my reputation at the yard went through the roof. Well, that's wonderful. No, it's not. There's nothing sinister than the man on the street. People are always looking at me now. They're whispering rumors about me under their breath, I'm sure. Rumors? Are, are you quite sure? 
His change is daughter appearing in those stories. The fans gone to his head. Stuff like that. Gosh, do you really think people are saying such mean spirited things, things about you? Like I said, they whisper, so I can't ex catch exactly what they're saying, but I know what folk are like. I'm sure what they're saying is sure as eggs is eggs. I get the feeling this detective could be very hard work. Oh dear, perhaps the sunrise of fame does change people. The case, tell me the case now. So I'm about the case that the Lord Chief Justice mentioned before. Nothing to tell, really. Eh? <laughs> uh, okay. Why are you here then? As far as we're concerned, the yard can't be simpler. Oh dear. Oh dear. That probably means, as far as we're concerned as lawyers, it couldn't be more complicated. I wish you were wrong about that, but I have a nasty feeling you're right. <sighs> nasty. A young woman was walking along the pavement on Briar Road when she was stabbed from behind. Fortunately, it wasn't fatal, but she's still laid up in hospital of call unconscious. That's despicable. What sort of coward would attack the poor woman from behind? I suppose you would have finished whoever it was off with Susato takedown, would you? There is neither here nor there, Mr. Narohodo. Brace yourself, Rihanna's okay. You angered her now. Anyway, I've something of a will in investigation. The criminal was arrested. He barely had the time for a cup of tea after the incident took place, to be honest. So there must have been something left at the scene that led. Uh, sorry. So there must have been something left at the scene that led you directly to the culprit? Or perhaps a reliably. Wit Reliable witness who recognized the person in question. Let me stop you right there. You're wasting your time on this one. Sorry? There's nothing you can do. There's no way to help the bloke now. Why ever not? Simple. The prosecutor that's been assigned to trial tomorrow is Lord Berg van Zix, the useless one who came <laughs> after five years from. Uh, retirement? Loss! In his first case. <laughs> to me! <laughs> no, I mean, yes. Sounds like you've heard of him then. Well, I warn against him? Oh yes, we are very familiar with Lord Van Zix. Believed to be the harbinger of death itself. The Reaper of the Bailey. Ripper up the Bailey. Lord Baron Van Six, who we faced in court only yesterday. Mr. McGilder told us about him before the trial, didn't he? Oh no, another flashback. When Van Six stands before stand for the prosecution, they call and accuse his sacrificial lambs. Every single trial in which he's been the prosecutor, Kills has been damned. Well, except for mine. This Ripper of the Bay leading name. I suppose he's earned it because every defendant he advocates, he advocates against is found guilty. Is that it? Well, if that's the case, we should inform you, Inspector, that in yesterday's trial against Lord Van Zix, Mr. Naruto secured a verdict of not guilty. Ha! Huh. And what of it? Oh well, um, I think... That means that even the, against the Reaper Bailey, it's not impossible to save defendants. No, you really don't have a clue, do you? What do you mean? What happened to that block in the end, eh? He's dead. Ah. Magnus McGilder came across in that omnibus when it went up in flames. So if you can't really say you've saved the defendant, can you? What are you s what are you saying? He's he's innocent but dead. But innocent. 
He's dead, but innocent. So that's all fine. They're all fine. Look, look. If Van Jace could get the dirty to stick on everyone, he'd be a miracle worker. But that's not how it goes. He doesn't work miracles. He works magic. Black magic, you know, like vampire, because you... <laughs> uh, never mind. I'd have a good long think about that if I were you. Are we really supposed to believe that? Oh, nom, 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 nom. Oh, nom, 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 nom. Right. Well, I think it's time. Uh, we are actually quite nice. Uh, time's up. So, thank you for watching. I uh, hope you all enjoyed this uh, episode. Uh, we'll be continuing this next. Uh, so, mm, we are in the new trial now. We're well, not new trial. We are in the new episode. My thoughts right now? Could be better. Uh, it, see, it feels very abrupt. It's like a like a surprise plot twist that isn't really that uh it's just to shock people i think uh what i'm referring to mr beast mr mcgilder being dead so well in any case good readers mr mcgilder and uh and good readers irish accents but uh, all right i've spoken too much take care stay hopeful but be critical all right Okay, bye-bye.